started this project without paying attention to where my battery life was on my phone and I was down to like 10% which means that by the time I got the foundry cooked up, warmed up and stuff like that it wouldn't have, uh, you would have, it would have died. So you were going to miss a lot anyhow. I wasn't going to stop everything. You know, I need to get this done in a timely manner. I don't know if you can see the sky but you know it's not promising but um, I'll show you what I got right now. Currently, where I'm at with this is uh, it's been a peach. I've got the tail forged out pretty much, and I'm working on the body. Uh, I'm probably going to thin that tail out a little bit more. This, so there's going to be a little bit of welding involved, but um, all this is scrap, rebar, screw, just come out of a trolling motor. Then just curve on around, just catch the front of the bottle cap, just catch the top of it. You'll be able to hold it in your hand and pop it right off. One perk on an insufficient boundary is that the outside of it gets so hard I can light my cigarette on. Well, I tell you, this project keeps me a lot. A I know I'm making crap and I'm not making the tools I need like Tom. We should be able to catch the edge of the bottle and the top of the bottle about midways and pop it off. I'm hoping anyhow. Let's let it cool down. See what we got from there. I am sorry. I got a phone call from an old friend and forgot to record the part where I basically all I did was cut that off. Let me go ahead and get this uh, cut where it needs to be cut and uh, show you guys exactly what we got so far. So you pretty much have the body there. Come on, baby, focus. Okay. And you have the tail coming in. So the tail's going to have to be adjusted a little bit more. I'm going to have to bring it more out. But it does look like the striking posture of a, a scorpion so far, if you can see what I'm seeing. Now, this screw here, I'm basically going to weld onto there. And it will be folded around, flattened out, and that'll be some of the pinchers. Basically, the bottle cap's going to catch here, and this will catch the top of the bottle cap. So here we are. See, it's not perfect. Overall, it's not too bad. I broke one of his arms off. This is what we've got so far. He weld his arm back on. That's going to go into detail, right? Getting that arm back on there was a booger. That's really got to take a lot to get cleaned up. But overall, 
I think we're gonna be good. All that fire coming out. I'm just gonna use this to uh, heat her up, beat her, heat her and beat her. So, <laughs> this is where we are. Um, you can see it got pinchers detail on the inside and out. For the most part, one's just a little bit longer than the other. Not bad. Got a good curl to the tail. Looks like it's being striking. And so, what I need to do is right in here is this needs to come flat and then I gotta put some detail on the other side underside of the the, the, um, the tail here there we go that's just gotta be filed back a little bit I think that'll work just fine Got a couple little nicks. It's got a lot of nicks. This is sanded down to a 240. I was going to try to get that as smooth as possible, actually. And I said, you know what? I like rustic. And it's a, supposed to be a scorpion. And they're tank animals. So they got battle scars. And you see, I've got the, uh, the uh, articulating corners in there. But, uh, see, so yeah, that's it. Alright, so I found a Coke it requires a bottle opener. And here's the problem. So that tail comes down a little bit too far. Overall, I think it's going to work. But um, I need to shave some off of that ch this tail. Now, either I can heat this whole thing up and bend this back out, or I can just go ahead and cut some off. And I think that's what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut some off. All right, so I have uh, I've cut some back. I've also beveled this a little bit, and I think it's going to have to go a little bit more. All right, let's see what happens. The tail might need to come out a little bit more. Yeah, it's not quite biting right. Hmm. Let's come further out and. Need, that needs to be rounding. Next test. You got ain't doing this with beer. So I've extended. Jesus. Extended that a little bit more. All right. I got a little bit of a uh, hump on it. And right here, I have actually uh, round that in some, so that it fits up in the bottle a little bit better. Let's see what happens. Thank God that worked. All right, I'd like to make a couple more adjustments on it and uh, put a finish on it. I don't know how well this is going to work. I saw this in a video. I suppose it works. Is that it? This is used motor oil. So uh, this is to get heated up, dropped in there until it cools off and then supposedly it is I don't know we'll see what kind of finish it's got <laughs> blacksmiths are probably cringing right now. I'm like, what are you doing, you idiot? Oh, that's just it. I don't know. But you could tell me what I'm doing. Whether it's right or wrong. And there it is. Yep.
JT, there you go. You're looking at this right now, but you've probably already got this in your hand. You've opened I don't know how many drinks with it, but uh, it might work better as a decoration. I don't know, but thank you very much for the scorpion hunting tool. And in turn, you wanted a, uh, you asked for a bottle opener, and I made you one. So, stay thirsty, my friend.